Mom, word from the 97th. They report their headquarters has been overrun. Their commanding officer is dead along with his command staff. Highest ranking now reporting as Primus Farhart of the 16th Armored Contingent. He currently estimates that while the headquarters was assaulted and his command staff killed, the 97th remain in good strength, as tank numbers are estimated to be holding at 90% strength. He does make one request for logistics supplies to be sent as they are running out and he estimates that they will not be able to continue the offensive without them. What are your orders, Prefectus? Hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Royal Flex C Sharp New Horizons Let's Play series episode 27 in today's episode we're going to be continuing where we last left off with the invasion of truth 2398b2 with our mechanized wave assaults discussing how we are going to finish off the alien uh, robots who seek to uh, destroy our very way of being and all of that great stuff um I'm glad that you guys have been enjoying the last episode. I saw quite a few people watch that and uh, the like ratio is very good and people are seeming to engage with it well. Um, and so I'm happy to announce that we'll be getting more and more episodes as we've just hit 1,500 subscribers, which is really, really awesome. I can't believe that's happened by the end of the year, even though I've taken some pretty big breaks. So let's get right into the episode. The first thing that I really want to talk about is the current ground situation. So the situation as it is, uh, and I need to turn this off, run this off. The situation as it is, is that we have four infantry battalions currently stationed on the planet. They're building up fortification level and they're digging in. Um, they have taken some losses, uh, some more significant than others. We also have our heavy support groups. They have taken minimal casualties um, and have been doing quite well for themselves. The problem is now that they are out of supply and because they are directly out of supply, we are not able to, to assist them. So to be able to assist them, we're going to need to get some more supply stuff in and that's just not possible. Because if we look at where the combat is taking place, it's taking place on an outer binary star that is located within Stru 298, which is if we do the uh, if we do shift, that is nine we're talking about 10 billion kilometers from the jump point. Then if we go over to the to this this is this is 10 billion kilometers from the jump point. Then you got to go to Caption Start. Then you got to go 61 Signy and Lalanid, and then you have to go to Alpha Centauri. So this is quite significantly out of the way for us, um, and as such, it's hard to get resupply out here. So what we've got is what we've got. Now the good news is that we have four infantry battalions currently digging in. So in this game, fortification level builds up over time. Um, through you know fortification defense and, and, and uh, through th through this um as you are digging into a planet if you're on uh frontline defense certain units build up fortification better than other units so these will have a lot harder time digging in than these guys which are infantry so my hope is is that if the heavy support becomes so ineffectual we'll need to pull it out i will pull it fully out and I will just leave these guys who have supply, just dig in, stay on frontline defense, and just hold for as long as possible. Because in these groups, we have anti-tank groups, mortars, heavy machine guns. Um, we have, you know, thousands of army troopers. Um, and so we can hold this position for a long time. And every time they attack us, they're not going to be, um, they're not going to be, you know, getting their own fortification. And fortification level, just a completely maximizes and just helps with everything um, in terms of combat um another thing as well is that you people may ask okay why why are you fighting this <laughs> if it's so far away why fight it well i'm fighting it one to kind of test our military the first test was with our naval forces the second test is with ground forces and testing out how that combat is going to work out for us so that's the main reason and also because this planet if we have a look is very nice has a breathable atmosphere and is, is a place that i kind of really want so let's move on from the ground combat which we will be going straight back into 
once the uh, episode gets into the swing of things. Uh, economically, um, we are doing okay. We've finally got some civilians starting to move over here. A lot of infrastructure has been moved here, uh, but we're still waiting on um, to get population uh, transported. Uh, we have 50 automated mines on Tau Seti A2, um, and that is swinging those those resources uh, out towards the moon. Uh, we're making quite a lot of galasite here now. Um, and so this is building up the stockpile. Um, so what we need now is to get freighters to start transporting this over accordingly. Uh, so let's have a look. What, do we have any freighters available? Uh, no, not you. You are not available. Uh, you will be available soon. You will not. You are not available and you are not available. Uh, you are loading all mines. You are loading from diligence. Okay, so we're definitely going to need some more transports. Uh, but we can start moving those resources back relatively quickly once we have Freighter Group 5 moved over. These are only Rigel classes, though. I want a few uh, Barossa classes. Uh, so where are you located? Your orders are not transit. Okay, we're going to cancel you. We're going to auto route you to uh, Alpha Centauri. We'll tell you to refuel, and then once you're done, we'll have you start transporting uh, all of your cargo accordingly. Uh, we'll also have you unload minerals as well. We have some more Galasite coming in. Shortages are still affecting us significantly. Uh, if we have a look at the situation, um, Galasite has increased uh, a lot, but... Um, we are currently having problems maintaining that. Uh, Industry-wise, we are building a lot of automated mines because we have the ability to, and we're going to then transfer those over directly to uh, Tau Ceti A2 to be mined. Um, we couldn't really terraform this world. We would need to get rid of the atmospheric pressure, which means we need to basically just suck out all the carbon dioxide, which would take a significant amount of time, and we don't have that time. Um, it has an equal terraform rate to Earth, so it'd be quite a while. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of shipyards and ships, there was one issue that that, that, that I made in the last episode. Uh, was that for ammunition transfer, I forgot to put an ordnance transfer uh, thing in, so it wouldn't have been able to transfer. So I've now added that to the design, and so we should be completely fine going forward with that ship. Um, and, uh, and I have no issues with that. So, let's get into the ground combat. <laughs> I'm going to pull the event log up. As we can see, it's been quite busy. Uh, and we are going to get into the total amount of casualties. I'm going to kind of skim through this a little bit more now that we've kind of gone through the first phase of it. And just kind of get general motions to how we how it wants to do so. Eight hours. Um, okay, so we are trading one tank for 12 centurions in that engagement, which is going good. Um... We traded a tank for nine centurions. Uh, some of our heavy support groups aren't even being able to really f do any damage here. Um, in terms of, let's have a look at, so let's pull up um, ground forces. Uh, okay, ground forces. How is infantry battalions doing? So you, some of you have supply. Some of you don't have supply. You've used the truck. Um, running out of supply overall here. Um, so we're just staying completely defensive at this point and just digging in. So another round of combat. We killed two Centurions, um, which is kind of expected. We're running out of supply overall. We killed a Praetorian combat mech. We lost infantry significantly. It looks like we're doing very little damage at this point. Um, we killed five Centurions. We lost no one. No, we, we did lose. We lost a tank and some artillery. Uh, nine, we killed Praetorian Combat Mech, the Curian AA, okay. Hopefully they might win out of supply as well, though I'm not really counting on it. Um, I'm going to move these to support positions, um, just so maybe we can get a little bit more of the artillery from the self-propelled artillery trucks. Um, I'm going to move those directly to support. Okay, we killed two Centurions. <laughs> Uh, and I want to have a look directly at, uh, let's have a look, so you guys can see. I'm looking for where our units are doing. Uh, mortar groups, army troop groups, um, anti-tank groups, 
n n doesn't look like we're actually firing with that, so we'll 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 just hold them uh, back significantly. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just claw field position and clear you back into front line defence. Um, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Just do front line defence, and then we're just gonna do another eight hours. And uh, as we can see here, we killed. Um, we're, we're, we're trading very slowly. The, the ground combat is grueling at this point. Like, it is absolutely grueling. Um, so, I'm just going to have the event log up and we're just going to kind of go through this. And if anything really bad happens, I will let you guys know. Um, we're trading tanks out for very little in the way of actual casualties. Um, no, we didn't lose anyone that time. Nice. Um, what is the current situation? Their units lost zero... Uh, okay, so they, they we're taking a lot less hits. Like I think they've run out of supply. <laughs> so at this point, basically, what's happening is that we got but our side has dropped. We've done some casualties. They've done some casualties, and now we've just both run out of supply. We're building in trenches. They're building. It, they have set up their defenses, and we're just shooting each other with pellets, and we're killing like half a dozen guys over eight hours um yeah it's <laughs> it's not going the best for uh for our situation so uh, it's, 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 going, it's going okay we, we have the infantry to burn through so if they want to wait if they want to fight like this i will fight like this i do not care um yeah so we lost some tanks. We killed some Praetorians. We're killing a lot of Praetorians now, which is really what I want. Uh, okay, we have research labs that we need to assign. Uh, something that I am actually going to look into is just better overall ground combat capability. Uh, one thing I want want to is... This is basically just a preparation war for the war we're going to do versus the other aliens. I want to know, in this system, what is their world like? Nothing? Their world is just nothing. I guess we don't really know. Okay, step. Step, forest mountains. Oh, if they're on that forest mountain, oh my god, that'll be annoying. But step's not that bad. Um, What's the kind of situation for that? It's not too high pressure. It, it's, pro it's practically earth levels of capability for that. So, ground combat wise, I don't think we need to be too, too worried. Uh, let me go into economics. So, I think I'm going to research heavy vehicles. I think we're, we're going to need... If it's step, well, why don't we just deploy a crap ton of armor? Um, that That's what I'm thinking, is we just deploy an onslaught of armor. Uh, so, we're just going to increment. Uh, we are taking losses, they're taking losses. Overall, it's going better for us. Um, I believe our fortification level is now just increased significantly. Uh, we're getting a good fortification level, but we're completely out of supply. So, in the future, we need to make sure that we have plenty of supply for our forces. We're killing Centurions. We're killing Centurions. We're taking losses. Uh, one second. So, I just went through a ton of rounds of combat there as I just skip forward. Uh, what is the estimate of their forces? We estimate their forces. They have less than 100 Centurions, <laughs> if you guys can see that. So, guys, I'm looking at this off screen if you, if you don't know, but um, here it is. Uh, current estimates of their forces indicated at 97 Centurions, 53 Praetorian combat mechs, 9 Decurions, and 1 Praetorian leader. Now, that can be wrong, but... That is very encouraging, considering we have a lot more stuff than they do. So, they can bring it on. Okay, let's have a look at the planet. Current situation. Apparently, estimates are now down, that, so they're down now to 1,800 tons of forces. Uh, current estimates estimate their forces are at 75, so we only have a little bit more to go before we've wiped out the enemy on this planet. So now, now, we're, now we're being into their Praetorians. Uh, Fate Group 4, uh, as it does not start a system, a cycle must end. Where's Fate Group 4? Yes, for before I ordered you uh, to go here, 
I want you to refuel. Uh, don't cycle your orders. I want you to refuel from the colony and unload all your minerals, please. Thank you. Okay, we're inflicting significant casualties. I mean, significant. We're killing three people at a time here. That's how bad the supply situation is on the world. Okay. We're now down to 1,100 tons. Uh, we estimate their forces. Uh, let's have a look. Estimation of enemy forces is indicated at 26 Centurions, 29 Praetorian Combat X, and 4 Decurions and the Praetorian Leader. So... We're, we're, we'll have to wait, but they're just throwing themselves at us, so we will eventually win this. It's going to be a grueling conflict, and our forces are fighting with basically sticks and stones, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to work out for us, so it'll, it'll eventually. So now they're getting down to a thousand tons here. We're losing very few, if any, units, um, and we are, we are killing their, their stuff very, very slowly. And we, we should any moment now be able to just say that we've won. Um, they're down to 500 tons of, of, of forces. Uh, we're inflicting no casualties. Uh, we, we score very few hits. Um, we are actually penetrating a few of them though. Uh, we estimate they have one centurion left. We estimate they have less than 20 forces. The problem is the ones they do have left is armor. And it, because we hit so infrequently, uh, that is going to take a while. So, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll need to move people back um, when we can. Okay, we killed a few more. Okay, we're, we're getting through the Praetorians now. Um, slowly but surely, we're getting through the Praetorians. And we should be able to wipe them out by now. Uh, okay, have we wiped them out? <laughs> Give me information. We estimate they have a Praetorian combat mech left as well as a Praetorian leader left. That is current estimates. So that means that we have pretty much annihilated every last thing they have. Uh, okay, I want you to go to Tau Ceti. I want you to load all minerals. I then want you to auto route bags of Centauri and I want you to unload all minerals, please. And cycle those orders. Thank you very much. Uh, wait, I want you to make sure you actually refuel though. Let me move last. Um, yeah, let's go to Alpha Centauri. I then want you to. Let's just redo that. I just want to make sure that I got that correctly. So, I want you to refuel, then auto route to 10 to Alpha Centauri. I want you to load all minerals, then auto route back to Alpha Centauri. Uh, and then unload all minerals and repeat that accordingly. Thank you very much. Okay. We're trying. Okay, we killed the Praetorian Combat Max. We have annihilated all enemy forces. Da -da -da -da! We have done it. <laughs> we finally did it. Uh, Shrew 298. Aliens 199. Forces on Shrew 298 have been defeated. We have won. Victory for the Confederation after a long, grueling combat. I think that lasted literally months, maybe a year. Uh, we have successfully defeated our opponents. Uh, we sustained, let's have a look at the losses. Um, so in comparison to a fresh infantry battalion, um, we took probably about 500 overall losses. Um, yeah, 500 overall losses. Uh, we took anti tank group losses. We lost all of our supply. Uh, tank wise, we lost maybe 80 tanks, uh, including sub propeller artillery weapons. We lost brigade headquarters um, and more. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. That is amazing we have finally prevailed over the enemy and i'm going to be awarding medals to every single one of them uh so we are going to give a formation medal we're going to give the uh campaign eagle first class uh to these guys uh fighting in the uh what what, what should we call this war 
fighting in the we could just call that the Struve mm. for fighting for winning the battle of Struve 298 B2 let me know if you guys have any names for what you want the battle to be um, so we're just gonna give formation medals again to all of these guys uh, for absolutely being just heroes and I'm just gonna copy paste that just so it's easy there we go um, campaign eagle there we go formation medal campaign eagle 300 Formation medal, we can bring eagle 300. Give it that. And then there we go. So we have given all of the medals to them. Uh, so if I believe if we have a look at. Um, uh, where is it? High formation. No, no, no. Formation medal. So we gave a rank to the formation, but I'm not sure where we see the actual medal that we've given them. Uh, I do believe, though, that we can have a look at some of our ground commanders. Uh, Perfectorus Castrorum Samantha Salzwalde. Uh, if we have a look um, at the Prefectus. Uh, and this one. There we go. It's been awarded for winning the battle of Shu 8 B2. Um... And she is now a veteran of the conflict uh, after fighting. She was assigned command of the 98th Heavy Support Group in, on June the 12th. And she was awarded for after finally defeating the enemy in, on the 13th of December 2163. Uh, so that is the first successful conflict of the war. Uh, we are going to leave behind the uh, infantry battalions and I'm going to pick up the uh the the tanks and get them out of there because <laughs> i'd rather not leave very valuable extremely you know <laughs> extremely important tanks just lying around uh so we're going to load both of those onto our backs of Antori, refuel and then unload those tanks the rooms the infantry can start digging in uh we do need to start we'll, we'll need a xeno archaeology group to actually uh, be able to find out about those ruins so i will put in an order uh for on the economics side of things uh, i will put in an order to see if we can um get the xeno archaeology uh, department do we already have it we might already have it in which case we can start designing of it uh, medium vehicle, Xeno Archaeology. Yeah, we do. We already have it. So, uh, we will design medium uh, Xeno Archaeology. Uh, Xeno Archaeology. Uh, so, that will generate one point. Um, so, okay. So, here's that Xeno Archaeology works that if we have 100 points, 100% chance in that year for it to generate. So, if this costs 220 tons, it generates one point. That means if if we do 100 times uh, 220, that means that'll be 22,000 tons of that. So we'll need a 25,000 ton division of Xeno archaeologists to be able to have a 100% chance a year of generating that, which I'm okay with, honestly. I, 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 am, I am in the favor. We also have access to these things, so you might consider that. Um, so we're going to call this the... Um, um, Xeno Archaeology M uh, M502 Light Vehicle, uh, and we're going to put in 2163 as its date. Put that on the Void Combat, create that, um, and we should be fine. Uh, we also want, I also want to uh, get some construction equipment vehicles for digging in the forces. Um, and also we're going to need it to be able to actually uncover um, uh, combat engineer. We'll call this the combat engineer version. Uh, we'll create that. Uh, and I'm going to go over here and we're going to make sure that we have that uh, queued up. So I'm going to actually cancel this. 
I'm going to tell Grand Combat to begin research. Um, I also want to build more labs. I, I, I think we have a... For, for where we are in the game, I feel like we don't have enough laboratories. Um, and I also want to get heavy. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to actually queue up um, 10 more research facilities. Um, we're actually running out of some uranium supplies here, so that is concerning. Uh, but we should have uranium coming in. Uh, we have uranium coming in from here. We have uranium coming in from here. Essence also has uranium uh, that is coming in. Um, and we have the Soul Mining Station, which has stuff coming in. Um, we have Diligence, which has a lot of uranium coming in. Uh, we have... Uh, we can we can mine that moon. We also have this, which is bringing in, but this is more just for the Galasite that I need to mine. Um, yeah. So now we can start actually thinking about the empires, and also we need to move back the Confederation defense fleet. Uh, so let us. I d I didn't actually expect for us to win the war, <laughs> win the battle, uh, that quickly. Uh, so I'm going to. Order the first Confederation Defense Fleet to refuel, resupply, and begin their overhauls uh, once home. Um, that'll take them 28 days, um, and we'll get them refitted and sorted out as soon as we can. This is a 60,000 ton military fleet, so I would like them back as soon as we can. Uh, I'm also going to order the Libby to uh, auto route back and we feel we supply and begin overhaul of course. Uh, New Solaris Vanguard is sitting here, not really doing anything. And uh, yeah, so let's just, uh, let's get some increments actually going on the way here. Um, I'm gonna turn off the event screen real quick because that is gonna hurt the time that it's gonna take for these things. Uh, I would like events. Uh, deposits of Neutronium have been depleted. Fighter Group 4 has completed their orders. Uh, very good, Fighter Group 4. Um, I want you now to begin your new orders, which will be to go to... Uh, where is it? Go to Tower City. Go here. Load all minerals. Then auto out straight back to Park and Sun Toy. Then unload all minerals. Refuel. And uh, then cycle those moves. Uh, that will take you 135 days. Um... Which is significant. Uh, but you should be able to transport a significant amount of stuff. Uh, 25,000 resources uh, or tons of stuff should, should be able to be transported. There's a mineral takes two tons. Um, what do you mean a cycle? Why, why are you cycle ordering like that? Come on. What are you doing? What you doing, ship? Go to Tau City, load all your minerals, head back to Alpha Centauri, refuel, and then cycle the orders. There we go. No one's the wiser. Everyone's happy. Wait, what? Why? Why is everything running out of fuel? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please don't tell me. Oh. Okay, everything just went out of fuel. That is annoying. <laughs> okay, uh, you are going to head straight back. Uh, this boy is here. Okay. So they reached out of Centauri, but they ran out of fuel. Where did they run out of fuel at? There's Confederation Defense Fleet. Really? They ran out of fuel at, like, here? The Libby has run out of fuel. Libby. Okay, the first generation effectively actually made it. The Libby, which is... Look, Libby? Oh, where, where's the Libby? It's in Alpha Centauri. That's where the Libby is. The Libby is currently stranded. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to remove all. Um, do we have a Turk sitting on top of Alpha Centauri? No, we don't. We don't have a Turk available. Yes, we do, actually. Uh, we're going to have you... Come over here, tractor my boy over here, then release, and refuel. We'll tractor that back to port. That was a miscalculation by me. Um, how's overhauls going, by the way? Because we did order for those overhauls to occur. 
So industry, shipyards, shipyards. Uh, shipyard tasks. Uh, we're going to get that refit through, which is very nice. Um, Galasite is down. Uh, projected usage is nearly double. Um, yeah, we're currently using most of it on Verendorite. Uh, Galasite is being used in, in shipyard tasks, which would mean that it's being used in uh, refit of the Vanguard B. Uh, it's it, it's probably being used also for the overhauls, so that is an issue. But uh, we should we should be fine. Uh, so that's the matchless refitted, which is very nice. It's been refitted to the new eight thousand kilometers of the second version. Uh, and uh, shipyard. Uh, let's look at the mining situation. Uh, yeah, so that's not going the best at the moment but uh we, we should we should be fine uh and we've completed our orders and i'm going to tell libby to uh stop being so annoying uh libby join the first confederation defense fleet and the first federation defense fleet can now refuel and resupply uh, oh i guess because they're doing their thing i'll just attach you tell you to refuel and you should be fine there we are that situation's been dealt with. Uh, we can complete a research into the Xeno Archaeological uh, Logistics Vehicle, which is good. Um, I also want a new troop transport because, honestly, it's too slow. <laughs> I need faster. Uh, but we don't have the resources for that at the moment. So, uh, what we are, what we do have resources for, though, is construction of vast amounts of ground forces. So let's think about this um i want a new formation we're gonna call it the xeno archaeology battalion uh xeno archaeology battalion we are going to put um how much would this be 22 so that's 11 points so to generate that uh how much did he generate again i forget 0.5 points, so one point per we generate, so we need a hundred. It's actually one thousand eight hundred tons. Uh, and I'm gonna put in as HQ, uh, where is Brigade Battalion headquarters? No, that's Brigade headquarters. I want a twenty-five thousand tons. There we go. We'll put one in there, uh, and then we can basically begin construction of that immediately, and we can start shipping that straight over to where we need it to go. So I will order construction of a single one of you. You will be done in twenty-one sixty-five. Okay, good. And we completed shore leave. Mining, uh, we just got better mining technology, which is really, really nice. Um, I am going to actually invest in some of the cost savings for this. Um, okay, Galasite went up. Uh, mining wise, how is the situation looking over here? We're now mining 1,500 tons of Galasite. That is then being shipped over, and we now have a significant stockpile of Galasite here. Grundium is down quite a bit, um, so we're just waiting on to get those Galasite shipments moved back to where we need them to be moved to. Okay. Uh, Terra has completed orders. Uh, were you the one carrying back all of our lovely, lovely ground forces? I'm going to presume so. No, you were not. You were that one that was waiting. So we'll set. We'll use you to send uh, the uh, the new forces over, or the Xeno archaeologists. Um, all of our ships have completed the overhaul. So what do we actually have above New Solaris right now? We can check that pretty easily. Uh, let's have a look. Ship summary. Uh, no, it's in naval organization. That's what I'm thinking about. All of our battle. If you don't know what this is, this just shows you every single ship you have on the map uh, on in the universe. Uh, so, we have four Valiances. Th we have seven Valiances. We have well, four Valiances, three Valiance Bs, one Deliverance, five Vanguards, five Vanguard Bs. Uh, so, that means we have 10, 11, 14. Okay, we have 18 Destroyers located in our Centauri. 
Uh, in Tau Ceti, we have no forces. So that means that we just all have our entire navy here. Um, which is a bit concerning, but uh, it's it's fine. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna start combining that to where we need to be to. Uh, so you guys are kind of just sitting here, not really doing much. So we have all of our destroyers. Um, you guys are the out the properly outfitted ones, though. You, you you're going eight thousand kilometers a second. Um, so yeah, I think we'll leave the episode off here. But there are a few things that I do want to note down for the for the next few episodes one i want to build a new exploration vessel two we need to continue solving our galaxy shortage three we need to get on the xeno archaeology for that planet and hopefully not wake up all the nasty warp rifts and uh yeah there's, there's a few other things that we need to do but i'm not going to mention it just, just now i hope you have enjoyed the episode please like comment, subscribe i'll see you next time uh and bye bye you have a good one